she is very active right now. The mantle's kind of the other direction too, that's why I was curious. Yeah, I know. Why not? She oh, oh. might be laying her eggs, it's possible. Mm, really? Well, she's not in that upside down posture, she's very active. No, she's moving one. She's moving an egg, she has one in her arm. This might be the soft coral that's related to the mushroom no, soft coral one. called Bathy Alcyon Robustum. That one octopus on the right, its mantle is shaped much like the alien, aliens. Now we're really starting to... <laughs> <laughs> it's late. Well, also, when you've seen so many octopus, you have to find ways to distinguish them, right? It's, it's a different shape, yeah? Usually <laughs> yeah. yeah, we've seen them more rounded. Yeah. It's a little more oblong. It's a male, and that is a female as well. Those are all just straight pointed tipped arms on the right side. Maybe they're courting. Maybe there's something going on here. And now uh, that we're here, they're embarrassed. Oh, octopus, oh, octopus with octopus. eggs. Oh, goodness. What? Oh, and the, and the glue. Got a bunch oh, of glue gosh. Oh, Lush sure does have a lot of glue. Wow. So, um, not like, you know, the glue that comes in like a tube, but the octopus produces glue to cement her eggs to the rock. And even when eggs hatch, that glue is left behind. Maybe what we saw earlier was a predatory tunicus that had caught something, oh, and so it was closed. Oh, uh, yeah. But the polka this dots is, are... This one's open. Before that one, yeah. I'd never seen oh. anything like that with polka dots. <laughs> And then there's a little protrusion off the right side of it. Whoa. Nice That's a gel. What Very is that? Cool. Benthic siphonophore or is it a benthic chinophore? No, it's a siphonophore. Siphonophore, yeah. So you can see the little lines that it's attaching to the seafloor oh, yeah. with. Like fish oh, yeah. coming off it. Off to the left, yeah. Uh, uh, and the right also. And the I right, see. yeah. Erica Burton from the Monterey Bay Sanctuary gave us the name. It's Dramalia alexandri and Erica Fru, and I think called Sea Pineapples. <laughs> oh. That one in the Orange center right now is super weird looking. It's like a bird pecking. Thinking of a painful trip to the dentist. <laughs> Nice Paragorgia. Woo, we're getting a few. It's a very floofy Paragorgia, if it is. Yeah, it oh my is goodness. Kind of <laughs> it is not, yeah. <clears throat> All the polyps are out. Can zoom in, video. Fill the screen with red. Give us a polyp shot. Basket stars. 
So this is another heterocone. Looks great. It's a big cram for a little sponge. Yeah, very cramped. Yeah, I think that's another one of the Paralomus crabs. Yeah. Paralomus multispina. It's a, a family of crabs that um, uses this most uh, pair of appendages to carry camouflage items. I mean, I'm fooled. I don't know about you all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't see a thing. It seems like that takes a little concentration. Yeah. I mean, it definitely yeah. distracted us. Okay, Steve. Is that a highlight? <laughs> I think that was a highlight. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put a highlight. Was it? What, what, <laughs> would, what would you rank it? <laughs> Well, I mean, it, it wasn't like, okay, so if it was on a sponge or coral, I would put it on a, like a four. Wow, because it's on a sponge or coral. But it, it was just walking across the bottom, so that they're actually... Well, so it's kind of like a clue, because yeah. it had the sponge on it, so it, maybe it was coming from this. It was sort of a precursor coming to this, this yeah. reef here. Yeah. Okay, cool. perfect, got it. Is that a, a, a rock sole with the white spots along the margins of the dorsal? Tom might have took it as like. Yeah, I'm just trying to look at the markings on it. All right, take uh, the captures on my lateral. Head. Oh, the lateral line's pretty straight though. Look at that lateral line. That's that series of pores that runs down from the mm -hmm. uh, just by the gill cover. It's pretty straight. A rock sole would have an arch, so maybe it's more of a. Eric has three with saying Dover. Dover sole. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me look. Let me look at the lateral line on a Dover sole. Yeah, that um, is more of a straight lateral line. Very cool. Small mouth, yeah. straight lateral line. We're gonna call it a Dover sole. Right on. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, and thanks for the zoom. This could, could be a, a a Levis species, but it's impossible to identify without a specimen. But I think she just wants to get a close-up picture of this shrimp. Hopefully this, this okay. rockfish doesn't need it. Okay, it's red and yellow blotches. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, rather flat shrimp. Might be confused with a lobster, but no pinchers. Berries in the sediment. We got it. That's it. Got it. We were, we were correct. That was the right shrimp. Awesome. Okay, onwards. Good eye, Mary. I oh, didn't even see that before. A very large crab. At least 40 centimeters. Crab? Really? Yeah, you can see the lasers are on them now. Yep. Leg tip, leg tip. It's at least three or four of those laser lengths. Yeah, it does look like a type of a spider crab. That's beautiful. Big tanner crab. Yeah, many, of, many of them seem to have this lower claw missing. Noticed mm -hmm. that the other day. Uh, several of them, they all have the lower claw missing. Interesting. The, the pincer part of the claw. Mm -hmm. I see that the left the left claw there. I do. Okay. Make it hard to. Gotta go. Looking particularly photogenic. Totally. I'll just call it that. <laughs> yeah, it's a great shot too. Those have such a super weird texture on the surface, almost like softball-like, simultaneously kind of rubbery and crispy. <laughs> this is a good shot. Showing how why these are called octocoral. Mm -hmm. Oh, not as close yet. One close. And these are, these guys can hold these uh, feeding pods all the way in, so yeah, and then kind of close up the calyx around them. So you get almost a smooth surface. There's a variety of different um, sea stars, nudibranchs, amphipods that will feed on these corals. And this group, the heteropolypus, there are two color morphs. One that's just a solid dark pink and the polyps are the dark pink. And then this light morph with the darker pink polyps. And as far as we've been able to tell so far, they are a single species, although we've only done mitochondrial sequencing so far. Um, and there are some octocorals that across multiple species can have identical genetic mitochondrial sequence. Um, for the genes we look at. Yeah, that's a really interesting, we're kind of at the forefront of it there, just thinking about how uh, genetics and 
traditional morphological taxonomy intersect. Oh, a yeah. skeleton. Do you want to zoom on that? Not up on my dolphin skeleton, I think. Is that what you think it is, a dolphin? That's my guess. I don't know. Yeah, I'd be able to tell you if the, you could see the whole skull. The trunks are very distinct mm. on their dolphin uh, skeleton. I don't know if you see a spot for where a melon would be or not on their head. I don't think dolphins have tusks, do they? Not that we. Except <laughs> for <laughs> narwhal. <laughs> That's a two. It's a two. It looks like a seal. They got some big teeth. Mm. Like a dog canine. I think we got some good zooms. The marine mammal specialist will be able to tell us more. Are you on our way? I think so. We can resume 300 meters, bearing 080. Thank you. Could it be a giant grenadier? That's actually the common name of one species coming right on in we got creative with that one contact right <laughs> so there are actually two species of thorny heads that are found off the west coast here. There are long spine thorny heads and short spine thorny heads. And zoom in a bit the, if you want, Marley. The feature there that you can see on this guy is the uh, third dorsal spine. On the long spines, it is much higher than the rest of the dorsal fin, and he's going to turn profile just so we can see that. The, uh, this one's digging in a little. Fly away with the current. That's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Holding on. Looks like it got into a fight with something. Almost looks like sucker marks on the front of its face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the yeah. scars. Those baby octopuses can pack a punch. Yeah. <laughs> Do they eat squid? The skates? Or octopus? I'm not familiar with skates eating, uh, like, shelled animals off the seafloor, but yeah. I have to look this one up. It's I nice was mentioning earlier, though, things up close. if we look closely, yeah, then you see a whole other kind of <laughs> layer of biodiversity when you start looking closely. Yeah, completely different community of smaller organisms. That's it. Score. Woo! <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Maybe. I wasn't worried. Dropping a target here for sure. Drop like, I wasn't drop, at all. drop <laughs> targets all around it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. So different. It is so different. 3D model we do will really show volume change, I would think. The rib bones just kind of disintegrated there. Yeah. The whole rib cage was supported last year. I mean, it was still upright, everything. Wow. Yeah. The video. So we're good on video too. Definitely not as many worms in the sediments around it. We we'll have to look closer to see if there are any left. You guys can't see it. Last year it was a pretty obvious carpet. Yeah. So that's one piece, right? That's Correct. one that's piece one right piece. now. If you want to get more, yeah. we can add more to this sample. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can. Yep. 
And that one, Mo, that one does have the limpets on it. Jump and ship. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. And here we see some uh, bone eating worms that are not in large clumps, but more individuals. Just spell or write what the name of this bone is so I can record it properly. Okay. Uh, humorous. Not in that it makes you <laughs> laugh kind of humorous. Yeah, that's the ulna. That's your funny bone. <laughs> the grenadier is very interested to watch. Don't let it make you nervous. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> that was really good. Can we do the carousel? Wow. Okay. Very much Ooh, like the clock. I'm impressed too. Uh, <laughs> Mo says, I'm impressed. Uh, for anyone watching out there on the internet, uh, we're going to wave the wave goodbye to the whale fall. Bye, Mr. Whale. Bye, whale fall. Maybe Miss Bye, whale. whale. I don't know. I'm down. We'll um, see you next know. year. We'll we'll see. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Decompos decomposition's <laughs> happening really fast. Yeah, might not be much left. <laughs>